Hello and welcome to 3450 News. I'm Amanda Cowley. The Mayor of New York, Michael Bloomberg, has endeavoured to continue to promote healthy living by launching a campaign to reduce salt consumption. Inspired by the successful movements to reduce smoking, obesity and the use of trans fats, the National Salt Reduction Initiative aims to cut the quantities of sodium in packaged and restaurant foods by a quarter over five years. If you do it overnight, people notice the difference. If you do it gradually over three, four, five years, people don't. Uh, but you wind up with a lot less uh, sodium in the food. The move to lower salt content by manufacturers will be on a voluntary basis, with the hope that companies will participate out of concern for public well-being. The city claims that if the 2014 target is met, it will help prevent many thousands of premature deaths from heart disease. It follows a successful similar campaign in the UK that has seen a fall in average salt consumption from 9.5 grams to 8.6 grams from 2001 to 2008. In a similar bid to encourage the public to eat more healthily, Taiwan is planning the world's first tax on junk food. The Bureau of Health Promotion is drafting a bill to levy this special tax on food deemed unhealthy. This would include sugary drinks, candy, cakes, fast food and alcohol. The bill could take effect around 2011. Beryl Shu, chief of the Food Nutrition Division of a local health advocacy group called the John Tung Foundation said, Hopefully the tax will dissuade people from eating junk food and snacks and prompt companies to make healthier products. Romania could also join Taiwan in introducing a fat tax to combat obesity. The Romanian Health Ministry has outlined plans to levy an extra charge on fatty, salty and sugary foods, a move that will tackle two problems simultaneously the poor quality of its citizens' diets and a plunging public sector budget as a result of the recession. The public health and economic benefits of such a tax have been shown to be potentially large. A paper published in the New England Journal of Medicine discussed the link between consumption of sugar-sweetened beverages and risks for obesity, diabetes and heart disease. The paper's authors suggest that a penny per ounce excise tax could reduce consumption of sugared beverages by more than 10%. That's it for this week, and if you've got a story you'd like to share, please email us at info at 3450.com. Thanks for watching, and join us next month for 3450 News.